I will say, you know, there's a beautiful Musra Haskal in this as well. There's a n- number of pieces that are very relevant to today. And I will say, but amazingly enough, that in today being Rosh Chodesh Elul, the beginning of our avoda of tshuva, right? That, that, that's what Rosh Chodesh Elul is. The beginning of our, of our journey of returning to the Ribbono Shalom and reconciliation and rejuvenation of this most beautiful and incredible relationship. I will say, if you think about it, the greatest gift that the Ribbono Shalom gave us, the greatest gift, we often think the greatest gift is life. Life is not the greatest gift. Life, don't get me wrong. Life is pretty good, right? Life, life is a fantastic gift. The greatest gift that the Ribbono Shalom gives us is tshuva. Tshuva doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. The ability to go ahead and change the past, right? The ability, like the Gemara says, that if, without getting into all the technicalities, that if you do tshuva mira, tshuva motivated out of a sense of fear, I want to avoid punishment, that tshuva has the, about, has the ability to change my averos, my intentional averos, into accidental averos. And tshuva me'ava, tshuva motivated out of a love, a beautiful, holy tshuva, has the ability to transform my averos into mitzvos. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. The ability to wipe my slate clean, right? The ability just to go ahead and literally blot out the past and be able to make a beautiful new future. The ability to start again. And even though I've started again so many times in the past and yet have never really maximized those new starts, doesn't prevent me from being granted another opportunity. It doesn't make any sense. Tshuva is the greatest gift in the world. And what do Chazal tell us? When someone gives a gift, they always give it ba'ayin yafa, which means the gift is always given with the most incredible amount of generosity. So Rebbe said, today, Rosh Chodesh Elul, we are given the gift of tshuva. We're given the gift of tshuva. That's, I mean, we're, we're always given the gift of tshuva. It's not limited to one month out of the year. But the truth is we feel the gift most acutely during this month or the next two months. So I said, just on this way, Hashem Baruch gives us this gift, the Ribbono Shal Olam gives it ba'ayin yafa. Sometimes we think to ourselves, I can't do tshuva, I can't change, I can't change. I am what I am, I am how I am. The ability of tshuva works beautifully for other people, maybe doesn't work for me. No sin matana ba'ayin yafa, no sin. Just know that when the Ribbono Shal Olam gives us the power of tshuva, he gives it ba'ayin yafa. And ba'ayin yafa means as much of it as you want, to utilize it however we want. That power of change is here in the world. The power of return is here in the world. The power of reconciliation is here in the world. And the Ribbono Shal Olam is giving it to us in ridiculous measure. He's giving us the Matana Ba'ayin Yafa. The only thing we have to do is find the courage to accept it, to embrace it, and to utilize it.